So, long story short, realized yesterday that my network, despite having a Unify access point that's capable of, I think, 1200 megabytes per second, at least a gigabytes per second, was only getting me 100 megabytes per second. I was not able to get more than 100 megabytes per second on my phone or any other Wi-Fi devices from the access point. After figuring out that it wasn't the port on my uh, Unify switch, nor was it the access point, we discovered it was the cable. Now I have a black cable running here from my server rack. Well, actually, technically it's not even running in the server rack. It's going through this, one of these two uh, ports back here into my network switch, which is over there in a coat closet. So I have this really long 50-foot Cat6 cable coming down from the attic up to the access point. And I was just about to replace it. Thankfully, I ran a second, uh, this white cable just a couple days ago, which is brand new out of the box, Cat6 as well. See right there, it says Cat6. So I was just about to replace that. I came down here and I re realized, well, hold up, before I fish that through and stretch it out, I need to make sure that it won't leave the rack here, so I gotta crimp it here. And technically, this black cable, this is the end of the 50 foot black cable, it comes into this little joiner and connects to this tiny patch cable here that goes in the outlet and goes out into the uh, switch. Guess what this cable is? This is a Cat5 cable. So it's not anything to do with the black cable running all the way up to the attic. It doesn't have, I don't have to get into the attic to replace anything. I need to replace this Cat5 piece of crap. Nobody should use this patch cable. Thankfully I've got some Cat 5E and Cat 6 cable here that I'm going to replace this with. And then I won't be artificially limiting myself to 100 megabits anymore because of one bad cable. It just annoys me that I was so ready to replace this cable and I knew all the other cables in the house were fine, but I completely forgot about this one cable run here that is artificially limiting my network. So after running a speed test with the Wi-Fi Man Unify app on my phone, I can confirm I do have true 100,000 megabit down speeds off of the Wi-Fi access point. My upload speed still sucks, but that's my ISP. There's nothing I can do about that. As for this Cat5 cable here that caused all of this problems in the first place, I think it's only fitting so I don't accidentally use it in the future to just completely, there, die. I think the funniest part of this is, like I said, there are two cables that run into in-wall ethernet runs here. This bottom one is the Wi-Fi access point that I just replaced. It used to be Cat5, now it's Cat5e. I could put Cat6, but Cat5e will be enough. What's funny, is this top cable here, which runs to my network switch and is basically the backbone that allows all of my server rack stuff to be connected to the rest of the network. That's a CAT6A cable that I specifically got because I wanted as high quality of a cable and as much throughput as possible. So I went all out on the top cable and didn't even think about what cable I was using for the Wi-Fi on the bottom. Oh well. <laughs>